All right, we're back. Welcome back to the channel. Nani? It's a different tang you're looking at here. Oh. But we're running it back. Tang v tang. Nothing special. We're just bowling on some kind of long pattern that Mike is claiming is the easiest pattern he's ever bowled on. It might be. He did strike. He did like a 28 bagger, and uh, well, he's got the appropriate balls for for the pattern. I don't. But I just hit it with a little bit of surface. But anyways, 1v1, one game, tang v tang. I'm down six to one. <laughs> so we'll see if I could pull out a tub. As the visitor, I'll let you choose lane. Oh, yeah. I like the practice of having ball in hand, so I'll go first. You like to practice having that dog in you? I just took a nap. It was like a little three minute nap. I'm sleepy. All right, where are we at here? That's not great. Oh. That looked a lot better than uh, it felt. He didn't know until 10 minutes prior to this video going. Pulled out the D-Tang jersey on him. How flattering. EFX.co, link is down in the description below. Use code M-I-T-A, or what's yours? D-A-T-A. D-A-T-A, 10% off at checkout. I don't think mine has this blue line on the side, though. There's a blue line right here? Yeah. Well, good for me. Here we go, Summit Peak. That's how you know it's not real. <laughs> Calling me Fugazi? Oh! It is what it is, man. If you were to give yourself like a, um, a rating as a YouTube challenge bowler, like the one to a hundred scale, like 2K, what would you give yourself? Like as a challenger or as a host? As like bowling challenges on the YouTube space. Uh, combined? Yeah, you're, you're, I don't know, like a seven. You're like a seven out of a hundred? Oh, out of a hundred? Out of a like, hundred. Like 70. 2K rating. Maybe like a 72. That's not very good. Now as a challenger, I could wreck. As a host, <laughs> I'm a god. All right. I believe this lane's a little tighter. Wow, I think that's so good. You ever see me throwing that good? Looks like you should go back on tour. I, it's not gonna happen. We've got documented proof that I'm about to get a 32 ounce drink for free on the house. Oh yeah. Shout out to the uh, Columbus Square Bowling Palace for letting us use their lanes. Mikey's earned about seven of these already today. Come to the palace. Get you an orange head pin. Throw a strike. Free 32 inch strike. How about it, folks? How about it, folks? I ball don't do that very often. It's the pins are just like the pins aren't there. That's what you call that uh, TV bowling supply special. I did. This ball was drilled by TV bowling supplies finest. Out right now. I'm but thinking. I'm thinking at least a uh, top ten finish in Delaware. Man, I need it. By the time this video goes up, you'll probably be bowling on the show. So. Okay. It's not so much for the points, but more for the confidence moving forward the rest of the season. The confidence, the points, and of course, the most important thing. Yeah, exemption for next year is uh, currently in question. Oh, I was gonna say the money. Oh no. That wasn't very good. It ain't about the money. I might be out of wood now. Stark possibility. I whipped it at the bottom and threw it in the oil. Not what you want to do. There wasn't a lot of focus on that one. We'll see if we can do it. Hey. 
That was like the worst hit possible. Like it wasn't gonna bounce off of anything. That was poor location. Mm. I will say though, as far as a um, YouTube bowler, you're definitely not even close to the worst person that I know in a very close personal way. Well, I make it not bad because I challenge amateurs. Well, Chris might be the worst YouTube bowler that okay, I know. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. He's like, um, his ranking would be like whatever Brian Scalabrini was um, when he was like a 49. Yeah, UK. That might be Chris. But anyways, if we can throw them all like that last one. TV bowling supply. I might actually go back out on tour. That's the name of the channel. Not bad. I mean, you probably couldn't hear me. I was up there, but if I keep throwing them like that, your boy just made me come out. You literally just said it's not gonna happen. It's, it's not gonna happen. Cause I'm not gonna throw them all like that. And I also like helping all you guys, making your dreams come true at TV Bowling Supply. Come at TV Bowling Supply. Get TV Bowling Supply's number one hottest seller for 2024, Summit Peak. Honor scores for days. And throw honor scores. Lots of them. <laughs> that nine can try to do that thing. That one didn't help me a whole lot. It didn't help. I'm not gonna help. I think if I just hit the piss out of it every time, it's good. But I'm really working on not doing that. So. I was about to say that's all that I really do. Nope, hooking lane. Gotta give it away a little bit. That's terrible. Oh! That's, that's the difference between a 500 rev rate in the right ball and a 400 rev rate in the wrong ball. Also not a great shot. I kind of heard something of the, uh, oh, that's not very good. I thought it was gonna strike for sure. Yeah, when things are going right, that, that tends to happen. I feel like that's the YouTube Tang special. You know what's crazy? A lot of the guys that have been bowling really good haven't had the best spare shooting. I think I've missed two single pins all year so far. My highest finish is 33rd. Team eight baggers, baby. I need to start throwing some more eight baggers, more often. Team eight baggers. Once a block is not enough, need at least three. All right. That's close. That's pretty. Gotta start to the right. It's about as perfect as they get. Uh, I'm winded. Why do I always get sick when I come here? Yeah. Just not built for these Ohio winters. It's not built for the uh, very fast changing weather conditions. <laughs> Alrighty. Getting a little bit of early hook here on 64. We'll try to adjust accordingly. Kind of in that zone, kind of in that zone. A little cliffy, a little cliffy. I don't know if 250 is gonna be enough, guys. If you guys watched the Optimum Idol video with Mare, 250 definitely wasn't enough. He's got home court advantage. Mary had home court advantage when we bowled. Apparently, this is the pair she practiced on for all of her childhood. I said, not today. I feel like you've had your fair share of practice on this pair as well. Not as much as you'd think. I think every time you've been with me practicing here is like pretty much the only times I've practiced on this pair. Huh. Gonna need to see a little transition here. If I'm gonna miss, it's gonna be on that right lane. Well, some, some. Well, good thing you, uh, now I finish on the right lane. 
It's not shaping up to be an exciting finish since I finished the match. But luckily for you viewers, you get to see the one, the, the only. Frame. I was gonna say Darren Tang, but I'm scared to give him the end of the 10th frame. Oh, baby. Oh. Just gotta, just gotta do what I can. You never know. You can put some butter on that sweet roll. The worst part is I need two misses. At minimum. And that's probably it. I thought it was the right miss in the wrong spot, or the right spot. Did you see Chad's post about rotation? Like, the throw box? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I said, apparently not enough. It was like, how much rotation do you have? I think I have too much. Not enough rev rate to slow my ball down. You need less rotation, more revolutions. <sighs> Immaculate spare shooting though. That's something that's always been pretty good, spare shooting. Make your spares, kids. It'll come around eventually. Make your spares, kids. The strikes will come. Come on. Let's see if we can't get that last one on this right lane to hook a little earlier. I'm telling you, there's zero percent chance I would ever lose a tournament on this pattern. Unless like, if the top 20 on the PBA Tour were also ball on this pattern then. But any of you mere mortals, You'd have no chance against me. I guess I'm not keeping up because I'm not in the top 20. <laughs> Clinical, surgical, PhD, Dr. Mike. I just want to let it be known. This is the only ball I brought. This is the only ball he brought. If we, uh... If I brought more bowling balls, I'm not saying I would change balls. I just wouldn't have started with this one. He would also have a high chance of also having the front seven. So. Yeah, if my ball had like a 248 RG. Because what do we got? A 710, a stoner nine, and a rap 10? Yep. Yeah. My ball's just not slowing down enough. He'd have, if he also had Sublime, he'd have at least 279 going. Checker. I stood in the wrong spot on that lane. I think that's why I didn't strike. Oh. I played it like this lane. I'm, not, I'm just not all there right now. Is that what's been going on on tour? Just staying in the wrong spot? No, the last time I stood in the wrong spot was uh, Team Trials. Oh, you're just not doing a, it enough. I was on a three bag and I two pin. I was like, oh, how'd that not hook? And then I came <laughs> back and I was like, wait a second. I stood in the wrong spot. How'd that how that not hook? I, I, thought was, I, I thought I got it to the right. It was on the shorter pattern. I was a whole it was dot on the 37. To the left. It was on the 37. I was like, what? So you were five feet or five boards too far left? I think it was only like two. That's a strange amount to not yeah, stand. I think right I, I think that's the difference I was playing them. So I stood. Oh. Or maybe my maybe it was just a brain fart. I was like, I think I'm standing here. It wasn't good. You know what? All YouTubers get one uh, one brain fart. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, that one wasn't very good either. JD's and Lettleman, that's when you know your ball is going to long. The entire game, I think, is a good indication of my ball going too long. Too deep. So yeah, I could still throw some strikes, but 
It's really limiting the number I More so, I have to be a little more precise. That he does. And um, I'm just not being very precise. Let this be a lesson to all you folks out there. Am I better? At the current state, probably not. We're just matching up. Here we go. The question was 300 lane. earlier, too. He's probably going to do it again. This was the questionable lane. I'm happy I struck. This will be my first solo 300. You should just let me finish first. Okay. Since I'm literally mathematically out of this, you could double gutter it. What would you shoot? Well, yeah, 240? Well, that'd be a tough way to shoot 240. I could get another drink though. Oh. Orange head pin. Can he crush it? My man is hydrated. That was perfect. And it still just cut the tech. Off my hand, I was like, yep, that's gonna strike. Just didn't think it was gonna be a slap dash. Snapper! Snapper! I do believe you increase your odds when you throw it good though. Wrong ball. Maybe that's my problem on tour right now. I'm just throwing the wrong balls at the wrong time. Just throw the summit peak on everything. I don't even have one. Oh. I got a sublime. It's kind of close. It did look really good last week. Oh, sticky. Oh. Would I have gotten it? That was our 710 shot. You might have missed, actually. At least it would have scared it. All right. But that's what uh, elite spare shooting and less than optimal ball reaction gets you, ladies and gentlemen. 224. 224. Most of you out there would probably take that. Most people would complain about that game. All righty. We ain't complaining. We understand why. Oh, it's... <laughs> I can't overexpress how bad that shot was. But when you've got the number one selling ball in TV bowling supply. Quality wearing, over quality. Wearing a TV bowling supply shirt. You just get those. I wonder if they make the shirts a little different on purpose. Are they, you're confident there's no blue stripe? There? I'm fairly confident there's no blue stripe. Interesting. Oh. Yes! Suck! Redo. That one was also, it was equally as bad as the first one, but in a different way. It was that little inside out deal too. Inside out, I decided my elbow needed to be out here at release instead of right here. Lots of rotation on it. Didn't get it to pick up the right way. Yep. But the left is walled. The left is walled. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the one and only Darren Tang for showing up on the channel and really boosting up the views on this video. Meh. Meh. But um, <sighs> yeah, you got anything else you want to say to the. Uh, the people of America. Throw the right ball at the right time. Throw the right ball at the right time. Bad carry doesn't exist. Bad carry doesn't exist. Spare shooting does. 224 is what it's going to get you. And I don't know. The PBA professionals that are at the top of the game right now definitely don't have the best spare shooting at the Throw moment. eight baggers. How about this? How about this? If you're not going to pick up your spares, make sure you have a nine bagger in there. That's right. You either get nine baggers and nine outs or nine spares. All righty. We'll see you.